Hello. We're also locked in this jail by ourselves, guys. That there's something evil in here. I feel like I just heard something behind me. And whipped across the back. I can't really see what I'm doing. Guys, this actually has graffiti on here. Holy crap. Okay, wow. we've got two going up. What the, I think there's something in here. I think I also heard a voice. It's in, it's in the room with us. Let's get the f out of here. There's banging in there. Oh my god. Hey Crypt Keepers, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypts tonight. We are back at the Richmond Jail, one of the oldest, best preserved and most haunted prisons here in Australia. This place dates back to 1825. There's a lot of history here and supposedly a lot of paranormal occurrences go on. So stay tuned. The Richmond Jail is the oldest intact prison in Australia and one of its most haunted. The prison dates back to 1825 and contains much of Tasmania's early convict history. The prison was a brutal place to spend time where prisoners endured hard labour and punishments, such as solitary confinement and lashings. Already tonight, I have explored the old jail and investigated its punishment cell and jailer's house with interesting results. Now, we continue our investigation of some of the darker areas of the prison, including the flogging yard, and solitary confinement cells. All right, guys, I've just moved you into what is known as the flogging yard or flagellation yard. And this is basically where a lot of the punishment would have taken place, which is a little bit sickening. Um, it is quite sad. Imagine being lashed up to 50 times here. Terrible. Um, I do have uh, two cameras going, so I've got one here and I've got one here. I've left this camera rolling on um, this triangle apparatus. Basically what this is, is where prisoners would have been like strung up to be flagellated or flogged and whipped across the back. Now I have put one of those motion sensors just down here on the wooden structure. So, I mean, I don't know what kind of energy is here, but if that lights up, that's a little bit eerie just because of the purpose of what this thing was used for. So if there's anybody around and maybe you were flogged in this yard or maybe you, you're the flogger, I don't know if that's quite the right terms, floggy and flogger. Um, if you are here though, and this wooden structure means anything to you, can you come up and touch the clear ball that is sitting on there? Do that at any, any time, any moment. So I'm actually also going to run a ghost tube session, which is a paranormal app. Uh, this is something that Jared and I actually built ourselves from scratch. So I trust it very much, but I'm just sitting record now. So you guys will see the readings come on the bottom of the screen. It's, uh, you know, got an electromagnetic reader. We also have a sensor on front of the screen. So if anything goes close to the phone, uh, it can pick that up. Um, also uh, listening for sound and it's also got a what we call ghost dictionary which is quite experimental but we've had I just heard noises behind me like the gravel was moving obviously there's nothing there goodbye did you just come up to me and say goodbye what does that mean Funny, I got that response just after I heard. I just heard it again. Are you trying to touch that ball? If you touch that ball, it can light up colours. Why don't you see if you can do that? There's, there is anybody in this area, 
Don't be shy to come up close to me. You walk right up to the lights that are in my hand. If you do that, maybe you can communicate with me and show me that you are here. Do I'll not. Do not what? <laughs> Is that, that's probably something you would say if you're about to be flogged. Is there anyone here who was hurt in this area? Can you come forward with your name, please? I would love to know who I'm talking to. What did you do to be punished here? So I didn't show you guys this earlier. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Can I come in? This guys is the dunny, which is Australian for toilet. So you look down here. Who's in here on the loo? I'm going to get out and leave you to your private business. have been sentenced to 50 lashes. We have a doctor Help present. Me. Help me. We have a doctor present to cite this. One. Six. Six. Oh, wow. Did you receive six lashes? That's interesting because I was just going to start counting up. That's earlier when I was in mm. here during the day. They have some recordings which are very, I mean, they get you kind of emotional because they're so intense and it's kind of like, you have been sentenced to 50 lashings and 30 days in uh, detention. And then they would actually whip and count. So, is that how many times you got hit here? Even six lashes would be bad, wouldn't it? I swear there's something down here. I could hear it when I put my hand in. Do anything? Like, Sound like it vibrated, maybe it's a bug or something. Can you light up this bowl, please? Cynthia. Cynthia. Okay, so there was no women flogged in Australia. Uh, maybe there could have been a Cynthia that was kept here, but this also picks up on um, Electro, the electromagnetic field, which na naturally fluctuates because magnetic north is constantly changing. So there's definitely a chance that, you know, something that is not meaningful never. could come up. Never. Will you never light up that ball for me? Please. Please do it. I'm just going to, I know this is like sick, but I'm just going to stand here. I can hear it. I don't know what that. There's definitely noise over yeah. here. I can hear the gravel. Yeah. Can you come towards me? Uh, I'm 
just let this guy do his mission. <laughs> I can hear it. I don't know if that's a cat. I don't know what that is. We just moved into the male, men, the men's solitary confinement cells. And I swear I could just hear scratching behind mum. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I think I also heard a voice, but I mean, that was right before we flicked on record. This is supposed to be like the most haunted area. So I'm excited to investigate it. I thought before we start, I would do a little walkthrough just with a thermal imaging camera because when we were exploring earlier, cell three, which was supposed to be the really scary, really evil, bad cell, that was quite hot in there. I mean, that was cold. I've been told the third cell. One, two, three. Actually, this one is freezing cold. So let's step in right now. Yeah. It was really cold, right? Yeah. My brain is fried. It was cold in there, so... What the hell? What is that? I don't know. Jesus. It was cold in there, so... I have no idea what that is. We were also locked in this jail by ourselves, guys. So, it could be, I mean, I hope it's not an animal because it sounded like it was in pain. It sounded like someone just screeching, like, I mean. That's just the fl creaky floorboards, yeah. it's just, I that, just. That's the floorboards, but that yeah. screech is what's got yeah. me. That was like. That sounded awful. Maybe it was coming from the flogging yard. Ooh. All right, I'm just gonna stick to what we're doing. Um, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna stick to what I'm doing, right? So, thermal imaging camera. Let's roll with this, let's do it. So I'm hitting record now. You can see mum's face. <laughs> oh, you, I can see your glasses on. Don't, <laughs> I've gotta have them down the end of my nose so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to oh, scan no. each cell. All right, this one is about 20 degrees all up, and I can't see anything weird in there. So let's just keep going. Yeah, this one is also about 20 degrees. It actually feels so much warmer now than it did before. Uh, this one is the third cell, which is the notorious one. And again, yeah, that's about 20 as well, guys. So I can't say that it's notably colder. I mean, it felt really cold earlier, but maybe whatever was causing that could have moved on. Again, this one, yeah, 19, 20 degrees, pretty much the same. All right, so we've got four more cells on the other side, so mum's just backing up. You look like a funky alien. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> no worries. All right, so down this way. Start down here. Yeah, it's about 20, 20 degrees again. And this one, 20, yeah, they're all about the same. Again, you guessed it, 20. All right, last cell. Yeah, they're all about 20 degrees. I can't see anything in here that looks really noteworthy. Are you in cell three? Can you show yourself to me? I heard some funky stuff happens in here. Can you make a noise for us? All right, so I've just stopped recording with the, the thermal gun. So I think that now we'll go lights out. We'll start reaching out. I reckon later on, I want to do some kind of like 
solo thing in the third cell. That's a really, really scary one. So obviously I wanna lock myself in. Um, but yeah, let's get some more equipment out. All right guys, so mum and I are now in the male solitary confinement cells. We've just gone fully lights out. <laughs> How much can you see? Not much, right? It's pitch black. It's pretty freaking dark. So creepy. yes, it's very, very creepy. <laughs> Um, so what we've done is we've just set out a bunch of the cat ball motion sensors so if they are physically moved they will light up and I'll just start reaching out. I'll show you where we're standing as well. We're kind of standing at the back of this aisle here and you can see one, two, three of the balls on the floor. This here is like the spooky haunted cell, uh, the most notorious cell. If there is anybody in any of these cells or in this hallway, can you come out of your cell and light up one of these balls? Maybe you're in cell three and you can just tap that ball right on your doorstep. Do it. Now, just to show you guys, we are kind of in We've got two more balls down this hallway. Cracky, I can't, okay, there's one. And there's one down the end there. Hard to see him. We don't have a ball down this end. But I'm kind of just standing in the middle now. So if I look forward, I have a view of both sides. If there is anyone in here, can you make a noise? Can you tap on something? Can you scratch something? Maybe. Ooh. Oh, there's two of them. Holy crap. Okay, wow. we've got two going off. Is there someone to my left? Can you make a noise? Can you light up another one of the balls? That was pretty cool, huh? Wow, well, at the same time too. Yeah, right in the same spot. That was unbelievable actually. Did someone just go into cell three? Did you just walk in there? Looks like they did. Alright. Just so I can see where I'm standing. Am I welcome in? Did you just walk in here? Go in. Just don't want to tread on this. So I can't really see what I'm doing. Okay, there's the wall. If there's someone in here with me, can you light that ball up on the floor again? Maybe you could close the door. Lock me into solitary. Oh, there's a ball going off oh, down here. here. Oh, which one? Is that the same one? Yeah. Did you just leave cell three? Why did you leave me? That's funny because the other balls aren't lighting up at all on the other side. Nah, it's just the two. Yeah. This one right in front of cell three. And that one just outside. It's very creepy though. <laughs> Isn't it? That's sad. so creepy. That is creepy. It's very, very... Can you imagine what it was? It w would have been like back in the 1800s, the early 1800s. It would have oh been... My God. It would have been so horrible. All right guys, we are now currently standing in the women's solitary cells and I thought that we would reach out on the spirit box here and see if anything comes through. There's definitely not as much paranormal activity that has been reported uh, in this area. It's not said to be one of the popular haunted places, 
but that is kind of something that makes this place interesting because it's often the places that get overlooked that may have more things going on because maybe the spirits here miss out on investigators trying to communicate with them so let's go lights off and we'll reach out with this all right guys got my spirit box ready we're in the dark <laughs> very dark um so i'm just gonna reach out and see if we can contact the spirits Hello, my name is Amy and I'm here actually with my mother, Sonia. We are friendly people. We're not here to harm you. We just want to talk. If there is anybody in this area, I'm going to be turning on a device which can be quite loud, but maybe it's something that you can use to project your voice to us. Maybe uh, you can actually talk to us through this device and uh, we can have a conversation. We would love that. I can't see where I'm going, eh? At all. That came from in here. That was something loud. Is there someone in here? Are you in this room? dog. It's just definite growling. That sounds like it's in here though. It does, doesn't it? Just have a look and see if the dog's out there. I don't want to get attacked. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a dog out there? No, there's nothing in the yard. was behind you. Jesus, I don't know. This is really weird. Right. Let's just, hang on. Let's just close this, like, because I don't want to get mauled, but I swear that when that really growled, it sounded like it was from behind you. Yeah. It didn't sound like it was at the dog. The dog is, like, mm. heaps far away. It's in, like, over the back fence, the huge prison walls. My heart is like racing. <laughs> Alright, I'm turning the lights off. Jesus. Okay. Is there something angry in here? <laughs> Are you angry at us? Do you not want us here? What is it? I don't know what it is. It's like it's behind. Back here. I'm almost like I want to do the spirit box. Jesus. I can hear. It's not a dog. The only thing I can think of is a Tasmanian devil. And I would not want one of these 
Is it in here? No. It sounds like it is in this room back here. Oh, sorry. We can't see. Yeah, I'll Don't walk here, into this table. I'm going yeah, to. hold my hand. <laughs> this way. So mum can't see very well and um, she's not used to walking around in the dark like I am. It sounds like screeching for one, like things attacking each other, growling and like a ruckus like on, on the floorboards. Like it doesn't really sound like it's out, outside, but I mean, it definitely, it could be. Maybe there is like devils around here. Look up Tasmanian devils, guys. I think they're beautiful creatures, but they can be feisty and they can brawl with one another. And I believe that they got their names from the early settlers who were hearing them in the night and they thought it was the devil coming for them because they sound really scary. Let's do the spirit box, finally. Go on then. My name is Amy again, and I'm here with Sonia. We've come to visit anyone who may be here. I don't know if you're still in solitary confinement, but if you are around and you want to talk, I invite you to. Can you come close to me and maybe you can use this noisy device in my hands to project your voice? Just give me a sign that you're here. coming from in here that's this way this way this which way. way which way look in here <laughs> there's not something in here is there jesus can't see anything <gasps> no it's here it's here it's, it's, it's gone blurry just hold this and give me the camera just get the torch give me the camera it's in it's in the room with us it, oh my god it's scaring me yeah. Hang on. I heard the foot footsteps coming it was to us. It was right here. Just be careful. Just I'm stay there, Mum. <laughs> if it bloody, if it comes running out, maybe we need to open the door to let the bloody thing out. Because if it's in here with us, all right. I wonder if it's coming through the chimney. What the? F <laughs> that is. <laughs> It was right, it was literally... I heard it running. It was right here, guys. It actually ran. There's nothing in with her, is there? No. We won't be able to get in there. She's safe. <laughs> Alright, seriously, I'm doing a loop. I heard it running. That was in the room of us, though, Mum. That was in the room. It must be coming through there. It's the only way it can get in. The doors are shut. Should I look up it? What? Just be careful. If it bloody jumps out on you. Oh my God! This is where I die. Just put the camera up there. Yeah, I'm trying. I can't really see what I'm doing though. I don't know, I don't see anything. What's that hole at the back there? Is there? I don't know, I think that's where the flu goes. I don't think it goes up. I don't know what the heck is going on. That's like the scariest thing ever. There's something in here with us, but we can't see it. And it's making a lot of noise. You guys can hear it. Mum, was that the most scared you've ever been? <laughs> I thought it was going to be a Tasmanian devil for sure. Oh my nothing. god. I told you, I don't like them, but I reckon I've seen some in the bush the other night. Well, I don't know what it is because it made all that noise and we couldn't see it. Have a look, there's something coming from down here. Look, there's a hole in the floor there. Oh, a rat can fit through that, Mum. It wasn't a rat. It was well, really that's what rat. I'm saying. How can it fit through that? Here, look, there's my foot. It's definitely it's tiny. bigger than a rat. That was scary. 
I don't know what that was. I can't tell you that it was paranormal, but what was that? Something behind you. <laughs> what the f I heard something at the door. Oh my god. It's just the yard out there. There's nothing out there and we're locked in by ourselves. Yeah, I know. Oh. Yeah. Oh, God. That just moved. Did you see that? Yeah. I'm wondering if something's in there. Maybe it was just shaking, but I could just see that. I don't know if... I hope I was filming it. That handle was just... Like this. <laughs> what the? I think there's something in here. It's like footsteps. It's in there. Get away from the door. <laughs> I can hear footsteps in there. Oh my god, I feel something runs in here. <gasps> can you see something? There's something in there. Oh my god. Why your case? Have you got your good light? There's nothing there, Mum. There's footsteps and everything that only. It's got to be something there. Hello? Oh my god, that mannequin's freaking me out. I can't see anything. Pack up our shit. It's in here. Let's get the f out of here. Wow, Mum, you look really creepy back there. What? <laughs> you just look creepy back there. All right, guys, we're actually gonna split up and do some solo challenges. I've just set Mum up here with some of the cat balls in the flogging yard. And I, of course, am going to go into the most haunted area, the men's solitary cells, and lock myself inside cell three, which is the, the scariest one, supposedly, but we'll find out. So you're right here by yourself? Yep. Bye. Good luck, Anne. Okay. Here we go. Men's solitary. Hello? Anybody home? All right, let's close myself in. Oh my God, it's so creepy in here. All right guys, so doesn't appear to be anyone in here. And this cell is waiting for me. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice this earlier. Guys, this actually has graffiti on here. That's really eerie and this looks like 
maybe you know I've been in here this many days. Got three cat balls here. There's one on the floor. Should be able to see if it goes off. One, one at the front of the whipping pole, and one at the back. I was going to go into the women's cell, but you know what? After tonight and the the growlings and all this, the creepy stuff, oh, I'm not. I ain't going in there. <laughs> so I've ended up out here. So if there's any spirits here, come and light up one of these balls. All you gotta do is touch one of those balls and they'll light up. I'm just going to get set up in cell, the third cell. A lot of people have reported that this is really unsettling in here, that there's something negative, that there's something evil in here. And I thought that I should come and spend some time in here, you know, just by myself and see if I can get anything to happen, to talk to me, to interact with me. That's what I'm all about. That's why I do what I do. Okay, I'm gonna sit my bum down and I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys around. There's not much to look at, really. Let's be honest. So this is a men's solitary confinement cell. I've left mum alone in the flogging yard. Um, that's supposed to be quite an active Place as well. This is supposed to be the most active area though where the most things happen. I think that I'm about to just go lights out and start calling out see if anything really interesting happens. Ooh green! Alright, let's turn this torch off. the door in front of me. So spooky. You can only imagine how awful it would have been back in the, in the early 1800s. I mean this is 195 years old this prison. Do you imagine being just trussed up and whipped? Oh, it'd be terrible. Is anybody out here or any spirits? Come and light up one of these balls. I seriously don't know how Amy's going to get on there because it's creepy out here. Very creepy. <laughs> it's not even cold. She shiver though. Now I can't imagine just being locked up and left in here for up to a month. Like, that is a long ass time. 31 days in here, some people spent. And all you get to eat is bread and water. So, I don't know how much bread you got, <laughs> but I would struggle living off just bread. My name is Amy and I would like to talk to the person or the thing inside of this room. Can you make your presence known? Can you make a noise? Can you touch me? Who is it that's here? You light up one of these balls or show you how to do it. Just touch it. Touch it. 
touch it and it lights up. There's not really much room in here. I guess like you could lay down, like that's the only positive thing. You could lay down so there's like enough room for say a bed. Not that you would have, you know, comfy quilt or pillows or, or anything like that, but or or anything like that. Or or anything like that. Or or anything like that. I don't know, I feel like I just heard something behind me. Ooh, creepy. Okay, so while I'm here, I'm going to run a ghost tube. And if that voice comes up, as it does, I'm going <laughs> to <laughs> my pants. <laughs> Alright, so I just hit record on a ghost tube session. I'm placing my phone in front of me on the floor. I'll just flick around and film it so you can see where it is. Phone running ghost tube. Door. Me. So again, my name is Amy. I'd, I'd love to know if there's somebody in this cell. I've heard you're not normally very nice, but if you want to... Oh. Old. Old. Are you calling me old? Or are you saying that you are old? Can you tell me how old you are? Can you give me a number, please? There's nothing there, but I can just hear a little. Can you come close to the light that's on the floor? Feels very still and very calm out here at the moment. Is there any spirits here? Come and touch the balls on the wood. There's two there. Don't be shy, come to the light. Can you tell me what it was like being cooped up in here? for so long. I sympathise with anybody who had to be locked up in here and contained in here. Why, why are you still here? Why do you still hang around? I've heard that you poke people or touch them. Can you touch my hair or... Touch me somewhere. Is there somebody behind me? I don't think anybody wants to join me out here. Yeah. 
Where are anybody at here? Everything's nice and quiet out here, so... I don't think anything's happening. I don't think anybody's around. If you are, come and touch one of these balls. Right now I'm sitting here and I don't feel any weird energy but earlier when we were kind of going through and doing a little tour as soon as I walked into this cell I could feel like really just cold the space felt really really cold like ice cold as well which was definitely abnormal compared to the other cells in the whole area so I think that if, you know, places are haunted, the energy is not just like, rah, all the time. Maybe you're more likely to experience something here, but it's not necessarily gonna happen. You know what I mean? Can you step into this cell with me? I know this is supposed to be solitary confinement, but hey... Just do it. So I've also only gotten one word on the ghost hoof. Old. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh well, if you were around and you did come to say hello, thank you, but you don't light up one of these balls, I'm going to have to leave. Should church bells be ringing this late? Eleven o'clock, they must be chiming eleven times. Okay, now you've heard the bells. Come and touch one of these balls, light one up. You just heard the church bells. God, imagine if this door just opened on its own. Can you, can you tell me where I am? Maria. Oh, that scared me. Maria? Who's Maria? I thought this was a solitary confinement cell for men. No ladies in here, hey? Cheating. Cheating. Oh, was she your missus? Maria, cheating. Maybe someone's unhappy with Maria. Did Maria hurt you? I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me? Strong. You're strong. You've been strong about it. You haven't been hurt. That's good to know. Oh, 
it's not recording right now, but it just said cursed. Great. Brother Adam. Brother Adam. I just closed out of it. So I just heard some commotion out here. My camera stopped recording. I think it's about to die. And I reckon that's mum coming to get me. So I'm going to go see. Mum? Did you just come over here? What? What? Well, I just heard someone come over here. Like, come to come in this door. Did it? No, I, heard it. I walked around the back of the camera. And this is the echo. Was... No, it was the door. Was it? Yeah. Well, I haven't been over there. Weird. That's mum. <laughs> I didn't get nothing out here, none of the balls went up or nothing. Right? Turn this off. I think I'm done. This is done. Die. Let me just check my thing recorded because it stopped recording at some point. Did it? Mm -hmm. Why? Because the battery's running out. The battery's running out, yeah. Is it mm -hmm. the battery? No, yeah, I do. It's fine. I still got 29 minutes. Did you get the footsteps? I walked here. No, 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 no. It wasn't the footsteps, it was like silent, and then I heard the door. I thought you were coming in. No, I walked over here. No, no, this was the door. I don't, it might have been when it um, wasn't recording. Oh, I'm joking. No, because I kind of started recording again because I could hear you, and I was like, oh, I think mum's coming in. All right, so I've just got mum. She was spending some time in the vlogging yard. And what's weird is my camera stopped recording at some point, I think because my battery was like dead. And then I was able to just turn it back on. And as I was doing that, I thought mum was coming into the cell. Like I heard the door and I was like, oh, she must be done with whatever she's doing. So I started filming again and then I went out she wasn't coming to get me. She was still in the vlogging yard. So you just stayed in there, right? I just stayed in there. Did anything weird happen? No. Oh, I heard a little noise in the corner, but I don't know. Oh, okay. Just well, just... I'll have to review it, all the footage anyway. I had some noises I could hear behind me in this cell, and this is cell three. Oh, that's terrible filming. <laughs> anyway, I had some noises um, I could hear behind me, and I got a couple of ghost tube responses, but I just didn't really feel much in there. You know, like they say, oh, it's the worst cell, it's the craziest. Yeah, or you get a cold chill or a shiver up your spine. Mm, I didn't or... really feel much in there, so I don't know. Go stand in there. Just don't tread on any of my shit. <laughs> what do you want in here? Well, I don't know, my phone. Feel anything? No. Feel anything now? <laughs> Come towards the lady in your, in that cell. She's been very, very bad. We need to lock her up. Confine her for 31 days. So I just heard something to my right again. You want it in cell number three. Thank you.
you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That all really, really helps me out. If you want to do a bit more reading on the Richmond Jail or any of the other haunted places I've visited from around the world, then head to amyscrypt.com. You guys can also follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, at amyscrypt. Thanks for watching, Crypt Keepers. Until next time.